Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of American Airs Inc., Dimitri Sirov. How are you doing today, Dimitri? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Excited to have you on the show. Dimitri, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with American Airs Inc.? Uh, that, that is an interesting uh, question. Uh, it goes back to 2010, 2009. Uh, where my family, they were working on a method of EMF modulation technology. Uh, they, they never um, considered uh, to create any type of product or any type of business. It was just an R&D uh, on how you can um, digitally modify electromagnetic field. Uh, this technology, the idea behind this technology that they were uh, developing uh, was basically to uh, to, to be applied with the military uh, and specifically the mobile radar stations, the air defense uh, radars, because the, the officers that operating these um, radar stations, they're, uh, they're receiving high dose of EMF. Um, and um, the problem is that you do need to switch them pretty often, so shifts are short, and you need to train more officers and so on. So that's that's where the technology was originally supposed to be going. And that's the reason why they even start looking into it. And the whole process took about a decade. Um, significant money was uh, um, attributed to research and development over $20 million. Uh, and I realized the potential um, um, of this technology especially applying it into a direct-to-consumer application, uh, package it and sell it worldwide to, through the e-commerce. And that's how it all started. I opened up a company here in Toronto and um, I rolled intellectual property into the Canadian company. Uh, we started to find ways of how this technology can be rolled into a product. Uh, was not easy and um, that's how we, we, we went and uh, successfully we, we did all of this. Uh, and then I did, an, um, I did an IPO in basically then of 2019, 2000, beginning of 2020, we went public. And uh, right now we have, uh, I believe one of the best uh, solutions in the world for anything to do with uh, protection from accumulative effects of uh, electromagnetic radiation from all consumer electronics and from surrounding electromagnetic uh, pollution. Fantastic. Dimitri, can you tell us what are some of the milestones American Airs Inc. has set for 2022, which shareholders can look forward to? There is one milestone uh, because having 10, 15, 20 you know, it's good, but it's hard to focus on all of them. Our milestone, and that's where we're going, is profitability this year. Fantastic. We love to hear that here at Rich TV Live. Our community loves to invest in profitable companies. So that's great news. Now, the company recently announced two different tranches of private placements closing. Can you tell us how the company plans on using those funds? Uh, we do these private placements periodically, uh, and the main reason for us to do it that way and the money uh, and the, the process most of the time and most of it will go to pre-order semiconductors. The main working component of our product is a silicon wafer, it's a chip, uh, and uh, especially uh, anything to do with microprocessors uh, and the raw materials as well. Um, just it requires a lot of attention right now because the last thing we want to do on a significant growth uh, have issues with supply chain and inventory. So um, we're just being proactive. So yeah, it goes towards inventory uh, and specifically towards the microprocessors. Now, if American Airs Inc. were to compare itself to its competitors in the sector, what would you say sets you guys apart? This is an excellent question. 
and uh, I'd like to give you a full explanation. Uh, there are many, 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 many other products out there claiming that their products protect people from the negative effects of electromagnetic radiation, electromagnetic pollution. What's important to understand that 99.9% .9 of these products are holistic and homeopath homeopathic products. They selling mineral-based elements. Could be a crystal, could be a rock, could be a magnet, could be a metal combination of all, you know, with something. These are all holistic products. They may indeed work, but the point is that these are holistic products. When you look at our product, we are a technology-based company. We create a physical device based on fundamental physics, and it has intellectual property, it has patents, it has research, it has peer-reviewed research, it has publications and peer-reviewed journals, and it's a, it's a chip uh, where, um, you know, where we made out of, you know, components and um, we make it in the best semiconductors company with the best semiconductor companies in the world. Uh, so that's the difference. So we have a technological approach by, you know, having a device uh, versus 99.9% .9 of other products there that may indeed work and may be good for you, but they're holistic products. So totally different approach. And um, I think that's what sets us apart. Also, um, if I can add to this, that there are many problems of products out there that um, gear towards blocking the EMF. And uh, it's great because they work for sure, 100% effective, 100% effective, I'm not kidding. Wow. But that phone or that Wi-Fi router or that wireless headset will never work again. So if you wanna you know, stop using the technology and hide from it, then you can use EMF blockers. We exist for a different reason. We exist so you use the electronics and get all the benefits that they provide and they provide lots, but reduce and dramatically reduce the negative effects and the cumulative effects of electromagnetic radiation. Our technology is not EMF blocker. We are not blocking any EMF. All these devices will continue working as they were designed. We are not interfering with their functionality at all. Uh, and that's the second difference. Here at Rich TV Live, we really like to understand the fundamentals of the company. We have investors all over the world. So one of the key ways to identify the fundamentals is to understand the share structure. So can you go through the capital structure of American Airs Inc. for our viewers and how you plan on attracting more institutional investors alongside more retail investors? Um, it's very simple. Uh, roughly, approximately, there are about 150 million shares outstanding. Um, I mean, what I can say is that I own 40 million out of the outstanding shares. So wow. the big piece of it is my shares that not going anywhere. Haven't sold a share since the beginning and not planning on. Uh, there are lots of shares are, you know, within friends and family and, uh, you know, and supporters that are long-term investors. Uh, and they're being with the company from day one and, these people are close to me. Uh, and then there's market uh, float, mainly retail investors. Um, so it's a simple structure. There is not much to add to it. Uh, how are we going to attract the institutions? Uh, by becoming a household brand of anything to do with EMF uh, protection. That's what we're striving for and we will get there. Fantastic. If there was one thing you would want shareholders to know about American Air Zinc today, what would that be? Uh, well, it, there are different ways I can answer these questions and a lot of things comes to the mind and they're all, you know, good things to say, but I think I say something else. I, I, I think what's important to understand and what people don't realize is that no one, no regulatory company anywhere in the world looks at the accumulative effects of exposure to radio waves. All these devices that we buy today, 
they're all safe to use if you're only using that device. For example, when if me and you will open up a new cell phone company or a new wireless router company or make a product and we would like to sell it in the States or anywhere else in the world, they will be testing it. And what they will do, and usually the testers are like this, they take one person in the control environment when there is no other EMFs around, and they take that device that we just made and they measure how much exposure that one device emits. And they record and they see, still see damage, they still see it, but it's not a lot of damage, so they call it safe, it's manageable. So same thing, if I can bring an analogy is this is with pesticides that we use in food. If you know, they look at the tomato and they say, yeah, it has pesticides, but it's just tiny little bit. But you didn't eat one tomato. You eat a bunch of other things together with that tomato. And no one looked at the cumulative effect of the pesticides. So this is exactly thing, what think what happening here. So the problem of electromagnetic radiation pollution is real. Uh, the word slowly, Maybe US and Canada a little bit behind the conversations, but if you look what's happening in other countries in European Union and so on, and with the rollout of the 5G and the internet of things that coming, the exposure levels to the electromagnetic radiation will be increased 1000%. And this is already behind the corner. So it's a real problem. Uh, there will be a lot of um, products that and a lot of new regulation coming into this uh, segment. And uh, we're positioning ourselves today uh, to be the leader in this industry. And this is my, my message to everyone that uh, this is a real problem. And uh, the, the market is astronomical. Uh, 46 billion Internet of Things devices will be built in 2025. Wow. That's a staggering number. Now, our community, like I said, is global. What is the best way for those investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about American Airs Inc.? Well, I'm happy to take a call at any time. Uh, my email and we have uh, um, uh, investor relations email on our website, uh, www.aristech.com. Um, or people can email wifi at aristech.com. Um, so we have a dedicated uh, email for everything related to queries from investors. And my email is also available in my phone number. Fantastic. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research. If you're planning on investing in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live, in saying that, uh, this is a company that I believe is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Thank you for joining us today. The CEO of American Airs Inc., Dmitry Sirov. Thank you for joining us today, Dmitry. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Love to invite you back in the future. If you ever have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss, love to invite you back to the show to discuss it. We are here uh, with the CEO of American Airs Inc., Dmitry Sirov. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please smash the like button. Comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe if you're live. The symbol in Canada for American Airs Inc. is Wi-Fi, W-I-F-I. Put on your radar, put on your watch list. In America, the symbol is A-A-I-R-F. Thank you guys for watching. This is Rich from Rich to be Live saying have a nice day. We'll see you soon.